Collective, it's G Hair from Gonna Thread Tarot. How are you lovelies doing today? I, I'm i here to bring you another collective message. I hope that this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance, okay? I feel so good. I just got back from the park with my mom's dog, actually. We went for a lovely walk in the park. It was so, it was so nice. I feel very energized and nice. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit really wants to talk about. I'm really hearing like continuing, a continuation. And I'm hearing like karmic resolution is what I'm hearing. Karmic resolution. Oh, these cards are upside down. Hold up, I almost just flipped these cards the wrong way. Oh, hold on. There is something here, something about things not fitting together the right way. Um, Something didn't come together that was supposed to come together because there was some kind of karma that, need, that needed to be, um, some kind of karmic debt that needed to be paid, some kind of resolution that needed to happen. I said a, a, a special prayer to neutralize any kind of karmic energy or any kind of ill intent energy that would be um, in this situation. Okay, I also am burning a lavender incense for peace, for peace and clarity. Okay, so let's get into what spirit exactly spirit wants to talk about. I'm hearing juicy. I think spirit's like, this is going to be a juicy one. Okay, well, what you want to talk about? What you want to talk about? I just heard some, somebody's spirit guy said the karmic is doing some fuck shit. Okay, be bold and make the first move. There's a karmic out here that's trying to be bold and make some bold assertion or make some bold moves. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing getting hung up, getting hung up. Um... They could, somebody here could be being called out on a lie, okay? A fiery climax approaches, okay? So this person could be an Aries or they could just be an Aries masculine energy, okay? Somebody here, this could be a, okay? Or they could be, they're definitely fire, fire in fire sign energy, okay? They are, look at the bigger picture, okay? Somebody here, I, I really feel like somebody here, oh, I'm getting so many messages at once, I'm sorry. <laughs> but spirit guys want to say about 18 different sentences at once, like hold, y'all guys, like, Okay. <laughs> Let's break out. You will never guess what this bitch did. Okay. So conclusions are within reach. Yeah, I definitely feel like... <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Oh my gosh, there's so much energy here. My spirit guys are like, <laughs> they set themselves up. There's a karmic here that did something. They pounced on something a little too early. They were really, they were really planning something. They were plotting. They were, <laughs> can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And that's literally what they couldn't do. They couldn't, they couldn't wait. They kind of beat the beat themselves to the punch. They kind of like, you know, they kind of um. Yeah, they kind of like ruined the joke or ruined it or kind of like they they could not wait. There was something about somebody was being impatient here and could not wait for something to come for, to fruition. So they went ahead and like, so they went ahead and stepped in or said something. But whatever they did, it was a hint to whoever they were trying to play that there was some foul play happening specifically with this person. Something this person said, something this person did. It tripped somebody's little sensors. It tripped somebody's like intuition. And somebody was like... Oh, nah, what what do you got going on in here? Why are you I'm putting your little note? <laughs> Why I just okay I just heard the scene from from the movie uh, Friday After Next where it's Cat Williams and he's in the store and he was like where was your antennas when they were stealing from us? So there is a there is a little something. It's like oh so they said that yeah okay. Why did they say that to you? Where were you? What did you say? Did you stick up for me? Why did they feel comfortable saying that to you? Somebody got caught in a lie here, okay? Somebody got caught in a lie here and it made somebody step back and look at the bigger picture, okay? And it is bringing a tower moment down. Like somebody is very angry. Um, This person has said something or done something that has got like multiple people angry at them. Whoa. It's a lot of energy here. Take time to breathe out. Yeah, spirit is saying, like, you take time to breathe out. Like, whoo. It made somebody, like, step back and be like, you know what? Like, there's some bullshit afoot. There's something happening here. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Somebody said, let go and let spirit work. I think this is you. I think you were like, I know that, you know what? I'm not even going to get involved in this. I'm going to just step back and let and let the situation play out, okay? I'm going to let this situation play out because the truth is going to out. Um... The truth is going to out, okay? Absolutely. The truth about the karmic, hello? Yes, okay? Learn your lessons and let go. You learned your lessons and let go, but this karmic didn't, okay? This karmic kept, yeah, something about a new lover. They could have been, this karmic could have got caught with a new lover, or they could have lied and said that you had a new lover when, <laughs> where he at though, okay? Um, 
cheating. I kept saying cheating. I keep saying your friends. So this definitely could have been a karmic friends, okay, to somebody, to either you or somebody that you were, um, that you were talking to. Put in the effort. Transformation. This is a person that's like a karmic friend. Who is mad that you are make make the move? Or why? Yeah, make the first move. Karmic. The karmic, like I said, the karmic is so ready to make this first move. The karmic is ready. They were too ready, too anxious, too too willing to like jump jump in and like end you and something. And it, and it kind of you know it, it fucked up the plan. Like somebody was a little too ready, um, on the verge of a major transformation. Yeah, now this person is like it's causing a bunch of changes in this person's life. Like copycat uh, look at that shit copycat karmic let them reach out copycat karmic this copycat karmic somebody's copycatting your ass somebody calling you the fake while they why it's clear to everyone around them that they're uh, 555 five, five, okay long-term relationship they're like it's clear they're like damn weren't you her friend or weren't you his friend or like damn i thought you were on their side like it's making them look bad like how they're acting and the way they're acting it's making them look bad. Like, people are kind of looking at them sideways. Like, hold up, wait. Like, why are you treating... Exactly. Like, this person being childish. Like, somebody's a little too childish. Somebody's a little too ready to talk shit about somebody. Somebody, yeah. And it's because this person, they're stuck in a cycle. Past life karma. This person hates you from a past life. There's something that happened in a past life between the two of you. This person is still trying to reenact, like, some kind of, like, on, on some, you know... <laughs> Two lifetimes ago, you you fucked my man, so I'm a, I'm gonna hate you. Like, whoa, somebody's refusing to learn from karmic cycles. Somebody refused to grow up. Okay, look see the bigger picture yeah you sat back and you saw the bigger picture and you're like you know what no your spirit guides were like let go of this walk away exactly this person does not want to let go of this karmic lesson they don't want to learn this lesson okay but you learn how to let go and walk away look your friends are here to help exactly like so somebody either somebody has a friend okay that stood up for you okay and i don't even know i don't even know how close you are to this person or something but they were like in a group with this person and they were like talking and this person was talking about you and they were like hold up who are you talking about oh we're talking about collective wait what were you saying about them oh they do this and they do that and they did i'm like and they're like no they don't no they don't you're a fucking liar like i know them like i know them know them like you clearly, and, and what you're saying, you clearly don't know them. Like, it's very clear. You're just making shit up. Like, I actually know them. Like, like look, I got pictures of me hanging out with them. Like, I know them. 747, now I, like, I know them. 515, down on the real-time clock. Uh-uh. Somebody got caught. Somebody got caught in a lie here. And now people are looking at this comment like, what? Like, clearly... Like, who are you? I've never seen you around this person. When? How did you know this person? We went to this place and this place. No, mm -mm, no, they didn't. They didn't even go to that high school. Or no, they didn't even go to that place. They've never worked there. You never, you did never work with them. I worked with them at that place. And I know you never worked with them. So what kind of shit are you making up? Like, you're making up shit. And people are looking at this person like, a word? Like, What's your issue? What's your problem? Ego. Exactly. They can't let go of their pride. Somebody got their pride hurt here. Something hurt this person's pride, like real deep. Uh, what happened? What happened between you and this karma? You have their heart, okay? So they felt like you betrayed them or they felt like, um, or you or somebody that they either wanted to be with or somebody, uh, they either wanted to be with you or they wanted to be with somebody who wanted to be with you. And it hurt them. It hurt them so bad. Exactly. What lust. This person wants you exactly like you hurt like either you were just like no I don't want them but I'm telling you you had somebody here that's like left field like that's not that person at all like I don't you're making up like a bald face ass lie very soon the change is coming very soon protection what did I say protection this person stood up for you and fought ground this person was like no absolutely not got caught in a fucking lie now all this person's friends is karmic all their friends are looking at them like a word like you just made that shit up like i'm hearing y'all you had us hating this girl for no reason on some lie like on some shit that didn't even happen like wait a minute this is like somebody being like oh you shouldn't like them because they did this and did that and did this to me and they did that to me when we used to hang out and and blah 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 it turns out this person didn't, didn't, never even knew you or they knew you for like five minutes or like you know and somebody's like that's not 
how like or like I was there. That's not how the situation went down. And this karmic had a whole group of people like feeling some type of way about you. And now this whole group of people is looking at this karmic some type of way like hold up. Like you reach out, soulmate. So they could have been uh trying to stop a soulmate. They could have been talking to uh to somebody that was interested in you, trying to make you look like I'm hearing a piece of shit. They were trying to make you look real bad. Marriage, protection. Um They could have wanted to get married to this person. New lover, move on. Yeah. This person was looking at you like a new possibility, and then and this person, whoever this whatever this karma did, whatever they said, made this person move on from you and think, oh, there's nothing. No, that's they're not a possibility. I have to move on. Mm 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 mm. And it took a lot of with this here with this put in the effort. It took a lot of effort from this person to walk away from you or for for them because they felt a connection with you, but then they were just they were just listening to their to their friend to their supposed friend. Um, new lover, see the bigger picture projection yeah this person was blaming whatever this person tried to say whatever this person tried to say about you that's who they are very soon the changes are coming very soon yeah what was this lie what did they say happened what did they say happened spirit what did this karma said happened between collective and them stole your man they could have tried to say that you slept with or stole or stole their man they could have started to say that you trap dudes or trap girls, that you trap people to try to be in relationships with. Yeah, third party that you're all that that you're playing the third party in in their relationship or in their in their issue. Ugh. That you're real quick to abandon somebody and walk away from them, or that you're either that or that you're too clingy, that you're really really clingy, that you try to trap. It is like this that you try to trap people, kind of energy. That's like the opposite. It's like this person said that you were trying to trap somebody when you were really, you were really a soulmate sent into this person's life to heal them, to heal their heartbreak. But it's like, oh, they'll try to make you feel better about yourself only to make you like addicted to them or get you trapped with them or I'm hearing tarot. Um, either you or this person could have done tarot and they could have either they gave this person a false tarot reading and just said something about you and said, oh, the cards are saying this about this person. So either this person did this or this person said this because you do tarot. They could have said that you're like a fake tarot reader or something like that. Yeah, they said a whole bunch of shit about you. Look, they said that you were really sneaky, that you were really dark, that you were that you were dark and mysterious and that you were uh, just like. Oh, that you were going to, like, make this person a victim or something like that? That you'd be, like, their next victim? That's, what the hell? Tell me more about this. Tell me more about what they said about the collective. The fool. They said that you were very foolish. That you were very erratic. That you just jumped into things and did them without thinking about them. That you don't make a plan. That you just, just go, just, uh, um... Also, too, they could be, they could say things like, oh, this person's a free spirit, but they mean it in a derogatory way, right? They, they mean it in like a very derogatory way. Now, somebody that'll be like, oh, yeah, they're a free spirit. And what they're really trying to say is you're a hoe, like you're easy or some shit like that. Everybody in the block has done had you or something. What the hell? Yeah. Cut. Oh, they could have said they grew up with you? Oh, yeah, I grew up with them, you know. And psh. Mm. Seven of Cups in reverse. I thought I'm hearing delusional. This person tried to play, this karmic tried to play with whatever they were saying. They they were like, 
whatever they were saying, they were taking away this person's option. They saw you as competition or as an option in this person's path. And so they were trying to make them like walk away from you because they saw you as like a serious option or a serious, like this person could have been, Mary Mark, this person could have been trying to like work on this person. It's like they have been trying to work on this person, trying to, to, to get in with this person, get in, get in, get in. And it's like as soon as they were about to get in or they were about to pounce on them or they were about to use them or have them, in came you as like this, not like, a, I don't want to say like a savior, but like God sent you in to like wake this person up to what was about to happen to them. And this person, you know, this person saw you as a competition or saw you as somebody that would have led this person down the, like would have removed the delusions. Um, if this person is a type of person that casts like glamour spells or something like that, they could have known that this person came around you and this person came home and their glamour spell was like lifted from them. And they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> like who did this? And they're going to say, you know, and they turned around and cast, oh my God, this person, oh, I can see it. This person cast a spell on you. They must have cast some kind of love spell on you. They, have, they must have made you feel this way about them. Um, you know, it's not natural. It's not natural to have that kind of natural connection. That's not natural. Yeah. Yes, exactly. The Empress in reverse. Um, this is the this is who this person is, but that's who they tried to cast you as. This person, you trigger this person's insecurities like really deep within you because you were speaking a lot of truth unto this person. Um, and it, you know, <laughs> and it pissed this person off. They were like, what the fuck? Hell no. Um, <laughs> most of being poor. They said that you they said that you were broke. They said that you make a bunch of bad investments. That you had a lot of debt on your name because, like, you made, like, really poor decisions. Because you were irresponsible. You spent up all your money as fast as you could get it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Okay, look, I'm so sorry. Look. Hey. <laughs> sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, they came in and they just caused a bunch of turmoil in this person's mind. But that's what they were seeing. They were seeing you as like, how are you going to come up into my shit and try to fuck up my whole shit I got going on, right? You know, they, they're like, I'm, you know, I'm playing this person. How dare you try to come in and tell them the truth? Like, how dare you? Yeah, like literally, whatever they did, it made this person like walk away. Either you were trying to get this person to walk away from this situation. Like, like I said, this person came home and it was like this person suddenly was a lot more attached. This person was a lot more like woke. This person was a lot more like, I don't know what happened, but I feel like this and I want to go do this and I want to go do that. And I feel so inspired to like do this and do that. And this person was like, oh no, absolutely not. Like you need, I need to shut this down. Absolutely. Oh, who was this person you were talking? Oh, who was that? What? That five of pentacles in reverse just keeps coming out. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. They saw the fact that this person was unburdening themselves from something. And they saw the fact that if this person unburdened themselves as in they were a burden in this person's life, they would lose. Right? And they convinced this person that throwing down these burdens, that unburdening themselves, that it's like, it shouldn't be that easy. This person's like, it shouldn't be that easy. It's not just that easy. You can't just manifest whatever you want into your life. You can't just think, oh, I randomly run into somebody and this is how it's supposed to be. Like, no, it's not that easy. That's not what this is. That's bullshit. That's somebody trying to play you. It's so funny because this person is the person trying to play this person. But like this person ran into somebody real and this and whoever this other person was was very intimidated by the realness of this person. Whether or not you were supposed to be in some kind of romantic relationship with this person or you were just supposed to wake this person up. This person was very don't burn yourself. Oh, 
Sorry, you guys. I smell she did burn herself a little bit. I smell her hair burning. But, yeah, basically, right? Like, that's that's who you were. Like, this person was just, huh, huh, huh. And you were like, whoa, stop. Like, wait a minute. Like, you're about to get burned. You're about to walk in, like, face first into a trap. Like, wake up. And this person was like, what? Like, I'm hearing this whole conversation. Like, who the fuck is this person? Like, who was this person that he, he ran into? Like, um, I'm telling you, if this person is a person that, like, puts spell work or puts stuff on people, like, this person has put multiple, multiple, multiple spells on this person and, like, having a singular conversation with you, like, broke half of their spells that were on this pe person. And this person walked back in, uh, like, walked into the house or, like, walked back into the next time they saw this person, this person was just like, I feel burdened, I feel awake, I feel a alive for the first time in months. And this person's like, what the fuck? Like, in their mind, they're like, oh, that's great. That's just totally great. And in their mind, they're like, what the fuck? who did this to you? How did you do this? How did this person do this? Hold up. Who are, Who is this person? Oh, uh, what? Or just this person has been speaking so much ill will into this person and, and it intimidated this person. It made this person angry because this person is a karmic in this person's life. And they are, they have been working on this person to beat them down, to keep them small. And then this person walked in and bright light. Suddenly this person's walking with their, you know, with their chest up and with their eyes open. And they're like, I want to do this and I want to do that. And my dreams and, oh, this is crazy. And this is totally the sign that I've been looking for. That I've been looking for to kind of do this and wake up like, wow. And this person is like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Yeah. All this person wants is for this person to be extremely emotionally dissatisfied. Like, you might have even kind of woke this person up to the fact that, that they were in this situation right here. That they were actually in a situation that made them feel emotionally stifled. That made them feel like, what am I doing here? Like, why am I here? This person felt that. Whoever the, whoever this karmic energy is, they felt that. They felt them detaching. They felt them waking up. They felt them, the, you know, they moved. The way they talked to them, the way they acted around them was different. And this person did not like that at all. So they had to do something to, they had to do something. They're like, I have to do something, right? Because they're like, I cannot let this person walk away from me. I cannot let this person abandon me. I cannot let this person leave me. Um... I want to pull pull some more cards, please, on this five of pentacles in reverse because it kept coming out. Let me pull some more cards, please, on this five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I cannot let this person heal. I cannot let this person rest. I cannot let this person get to this place where they are actually grounded. Like this person specifically does things to unground this person. This person specifically does things that keep this person kind of like lost, confused, uh, confused kind of cloudy in their mind and like I said with that seven of swords they came home and the veil was lifted off this person you know and like I said this person could not actually do spell like actual like in the kitchen up uh, <laughs> doing spell work right but just the karmic energy of this person like the veil lifted off of this person and their this person was ascending right and this karmic energy was like Okay, this karmic energy was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> hey. You see, just how my dog just mad, got aggressive out of nowhere. Like, how how dare you, right? Like, what was happening is that my dog is sitting over here by their food bowl. And my mom's dog is visiting right now. And he's over there on the couch. He's not even looking at the food bowl. And my dog jumped up barking at him like, don't you come over here by my shit. So that's that's literally what just happened. Or like that's literally what happened. No. Okay? No, you cannot collaborate with this person. No. So they knew automatically. No. This person just spiritually in their spirit because they are a karmic, they knew, right? They were automatically repelled by your energy, okay? By the in they could smell, they could feel your energy on this person and they were like, "Oh no." 
Because of course they're going to say they're karmic. So they're like, ugh, by the energy of you. So of course, as soon as this person comes home with your energy on them, they're going to be like, I don't know who the fuck that was, but they were terrible. They're bad. You know, if they're, if they're a quote unquote spiritual person or they do stuff like that, they're going to say, oh no, you have a terrible spell on you. Oh no, this person is trying to convince you. They're trying to use you. Do you know people can, can read you? People can look you up. People can, you know, stalk you and they can, they can try to steal things away from you. You know, uh, God will put temptation right in front of you on your path and you cannot go down this road with this person. And of course, because I'm really getting into the situation like you were kind of, as is at least compared to this person, right? This person could be a family friend, a family member, a spouse, uh, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend, somebody that they were with, okay, um, that they were dating. They have been with this person. They've known this person for, for many years, okay? They've been with this person for a while. They have built up trust with this person, even though this person's a karmic. And so if the karmic told them you're a terrible person, of course they're going to choose the karmic over you because you're a stranger. They don't know you as well as they know the karmic, even though they had a soul recognition, even though they felt it right even though they felt it and they knew it they still went with whatever the karmic said because as misplaced as it might have been they had trust in the karmic they had loyalty to the karmic Mm -hmm. And they went. Ugh. Hello to the karmic queen of wands in reverse. What did I just say to the karmic? The karmic's blocking their intuition because, of course, the karmic's like, oh, hell no. This is a person that's trying to wake you up. And just in the spirit of this person, they know this person wakes up and they leave me. Right? Because I tell you what, my I literally felt the veil lifting off of me, I started waking up and my karmic fucking booked it, booked it, and literally told me it was me waking up, my spirituality, me finding God was the reason he was leaving me. And I was like, peace then, toxic ass, get out. You know, no hate or nothing towards him because, you know, I learned my lessons I need to learn from him. But damn, this karmic though, is different this karmic is like i'm not letting go so easy right i'm not letting go i'm not turn i'm not mm -mm. i've worked too hard to give up i've worked too hard to to keep you as mine right yeah i've worked too hard to be this karmic i've worked too hard this person oof this karmic looked into this person's destiny. They did. They looked into this person's destiny. They could, you know, they've been with them for a while. They probably know their natal chart. Excuse me. They have used it to, to look up what this person had destined. They've asked tarot cards. Or they've gotten a psychic reading on this person or something. And somebody told this person, damn, you better keep this one because they are just destined for, you know, for wealth, for fame, for fortune, for something. Right? This person's going to have a good-ass life. Damn. And they were like, got to keep them. Got to hold on. Got to hold them back. Got to, don't even let them start the journey. Yeah. Can't, can't let them get an idea or let them get some kind of breathing room to, to grow, to develop. Because this person knows if this person starts waking up, if they start developing they will recognize them as the karmic and they will leave. So they got to keep this person stacked. Damn. They have got to keep, got to play this third party interference. They called you the third party, but the truth was they're the third party. They're the fucking karmic, right? Death card in reverse stagnancy, refusing to transform, refu refusing to let a situation in. Hey, man stagnancy pushing yourself all the way to the end feeling like you got to punish yourself for something punishment they felt like they needed to punish this person 
for even thinking about leaving, for thinking about waking up. Like, how dare you try to wake up? How dare you? How dare you try to leave me? How dare, I just heard somebody say, how dare you try to be with the person you're actually supposed to be with? How dare you? Right? Because, of course, that's what, how a fucking karmic feels. It's how, how, how dare you try to move on from me? How dare you try to get over me? This karmic's really possessive of this person. Really possessive of this person's possessions. I don't know if this person already has money, if they have a business, if they come from wealthy family, if they just know, right? This person just knows if they hold on to this person for long enough that they will be destined for some kind of greatness. But going to be honest with you, sis, <laughs> part of the fortune that you probably didn't see is that if they stay with you, they ain't going to get it. So if this person happens to be watching. But anyway... Uh, what karmics don't understand is that this person's only destined to get that if they're not with them. So maybe they know that and they're just like, shit, if I can't have it, neither can you. Damn. I just heard there was a karma energy that was like, if I can't have him, neither can you, collective. Like, if I can't have him, neither can you. Okay. The star, there could be Aquarius involved here because I did hear Aquarius, okay? There could be Aquarius involved here for sure, okay? But the star and the eight of wands, lots of opportunity for healing, lots of, just lots of just breaking. I'm, I'm seeing like a, like a barrier or like uh, something It's like, boom, like, like something's hitting it, boom, 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 and cr trying to crack it. It's like this veil or like this glamour or something that's being put it's like a mask that's being put on top of this person and the divine and the healing energy like you could have even been praying for this person lighting candles for this person you know saying prayers asking your spirit guides to help wake this person up and it was just like boom 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 you know and um this karma could have even been telling this but this masculine was saying i'm experiencing this i'm experiencing that you know they could have been experiencing like um like ascension headaches they could be like um doing different things of ascension where where maybe perhaps you can't sleep or your sleep schedule gets sw switched around and you're up you know you sleep all day and you're up all night or you're you have very like you don't really want to eat and you there are certain foods that you can't eat you start getting stomach aches around certain foods you know you start getting headaches around being around certain people right and this karmic twisted it as to like oh my god this person's spiritually attacking you oh my god this person's sending spiritual attacks your way that's why you're getting headaches that's why you can't eat that's why you're losing weight that or that's why you're gaining weight or you know it's all part of ascension it happens during ascension okay and whoever this person is okay they weren't that aware of, of spiritual ascension they they hadn't done their research on that but whoever it was this karmic was like you're not ascending this person is trying to attack you. And what was really happening is that this karmic was receiving spiritual attacks. As in their spiritual attacks they were sending out were rebounding and coming back to them. So this person could have been getting sick. This person could have been having bad luck. And they were saying, oh my God, don't you see all this bad luck I'm going through? Don't you see all this shit I'm going through? It's, it's that person. They have to be attacking me. Like, defend me, help me. Right? And it just... They just use that to pull this person in closer and closer to them. Like, don't leave me. Don't leave me. This other person is trying to spiritually attack you. When when this Miss Masculine or when this person went to sleep, the karmics there doing their hoodoo voodoo, doing their bullshit, whatever it was, praying for your downfall, praying for your death, praying, praying for you to be stuck, isolated away from this person, sending negative energy towards you. And you're over here guided and protected, sitting in the light. So all their magic is boom, 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 coming back on them. And then on top of that, you're praying for this person to wake up. You're praying for this person to have ascension, right? And that's boom, 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 attacking, uh, attacking the spells they've put on that person. And the whole time, this person is playing victim, right? With that four, with that four of cups in reverse, they're playing victim, using all of this out of their own spiritual attacks, their own spirit, you know, their own shit coming back on them. They're using that as an excuse. This person is the one doing that. Look at all this shit that's happening. About. I'm losing my job and I'm losing weight and I can't sleep and we feel like we're being haunted. Yeah, by the own shit, by your own shit. But whoever this person was, all these masks, all these spell works that they did kept this person 
you know, kept him in a fog, in a daze. Wow. Yeah, but it was all parts. Yeah, kept them stuck, kept them trapped in a cycle, kept them from letting something end, right? But it was all part, right? It's all part of lessons for this masculine. That's what I'm really getting. But this person, you know, you could be the masculine, they could be the feminine. Let it be what it is, you know. But it kept, you know, it's all part of the lessons this person needed to learn. They needed to learn about spiritual warfare. They needed to wake up to what to what goes on, to what people can do, how people can, you know, put stuff in your food and, and influence you to do things, you know, can put magic on you to put, you know, can put things, you know, and tell this person here, I'm gonna put this salve on you, or I'm gonna put this this rock with these feathers, or these this this um this eagle claw, or like this chicken claw underneath your underneath your pillow, and that's gonna help you. No, no, that was not this person's intent at all. But because this person didn't really know. They were not aware of that shit. They did not understand, which is why this woke up, which is why they woke up, which is why, you know, start doing your own research. Start figuring out what this person's really doing. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm kind of like digging their claws in and just made this karmic like more and more vicious and made them fight even harder to try to capture and hold this person because most likely like i said with this ego and this past life this past life karma this is probably a karmic a karmic lesson okay so either this person was able to steal this person from you or to keep this person from waking up in a past life and they wanted to do it in this life too or they were unable to do it in a past life and now they they want to make sure they get it done in this life Whatever it is, they're just doing their 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 karmic thing. That's not an excuse. I'm just saying they're they're just playing their karmic role. Second chance. Someone wants a second chance. Now this person wants a second chance because they finally gone through this this transformation. Ooh, oh we options in reverse like that seven of cups options in reverse they see they don't they don't see this karmic as an option anymore cheating third party third party situation they could have found out you know like no the karmic the karmic is the one this person i wish i know it might seem messed up to say no the person that you're with it's not the other person that's trying to get you to leave your spouse or try to get you to leave this the third party it's actually the person you're already committed to this third party but they're Which is why maybe this, ma this masculine or maybe this person, you know, it, it was hard for them to see it that way. It was hard for them to wake up to the fact that, no, I actually chose to be with the wrong person. Lust. This person definitely could have been using sex magic or some kind of lust spell over this person to keep them trapped to them. For sure. I just heard somebody say, don't you want me, baby? Mask. Exactly. This person wearing a mask. Also, this this masculine, this person, whoever it is, your person or whoever they are, they were wearing a mask. Marriage, they definitely could have been committed to this, but they could have been married to this person. Don't you want me, baby? They're building themselves. Do you see how that popped out, too? What do you want to say about they're, they're building themselves? Excuse me. They could be expelling something, getting rid of something, unblocking something. A marriage. Period. Something sneaky. Something sneaky. But that cheating card, they could have found out that their partner, that their that the person they were married with was cheating on them. They need to heal, see the bigger picture. Childish. Somebody's playing child and game. They don't want to grow up. Focus on family. Focus on your career jealousy okay so somebody was like they're jealous they're jealous of our love this person is jealous they must be trying to break us apart 
Yeah, they were exactly magician in reverse. They were doing dark magic or just dark energy, dark moving. They were moving dark in, in a dark way because you really triggered their this person's insecurities. I just heard somebody say, I can't believe this bitch is back again. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> Shady's back. So, love friend. Okay, so definitely they could have liar. Someone isn't telling the truth and accountability. Take take responsibility for your actions. With the seven of swords here. A little uh, okay. I'm seeing several things. I'm seeing like um, somebody's like crying. They're crying. And they're getting like consoled, like a friend is like, it's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And um, they're just like, I just can't believe, like I can't believe they're trying to take, I, I can't believe this person's trying to steal my man again. That's what I'm hearing. I can't believe they're come back again, or I can't believe they're trying to take my boyfriend again. Um, but I'm hearing they're leaving off the again part. This person knows whoever this karmic is. They're they're woke enough. To the dark, to to the I'm heading to the dark side. They're woke enough to understand karmics, to understand all, to understand soulmates, soul, you know, twin flames, all that stuff. They understand all of that, and they understand it so that they can use it to manipulate people. We're supposed to be together. I can't believe she would try to take this person away from me. Like it's so unfair. But I'm literally, I'm literally seeing a scene of somebody, you know how like, like in movies where they show somebody like fake crying, where they're like, oh, 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 I just, oh, 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 oh give this bitch an Academy Award. Oh my God. Yeah. She would whip up te fake tears so quick. He or she, whoever it is, or whatever it is, anger, tears, whatever, however it is, they're showing their despair. Okay. Um. I just would say fake ass bitch. Okay, my goodness. Okay, look. Like, this person is really, really making you like a literal like mustache twirling like villain. Like villain. They're, yeah, they're calling you a liar. They're like, everything she says is a lie. Like, clearly, right? Like, they're playing up the whole like, he's my husband or he's my man. She's clearly the third party. We were already together. Like, how could I be the third party in my own marriage? Or how could I be the third party in my own relationship? Like, that's stupid. And she got a bunch of unwoke people around her, like, gassing her ass up. Like, yeah, that's your man. Fight for him, girl. Fight for him, girl. We'll go Facebook stalk her. We'll go do what we need to do. Mm -hmm. What did I just say? Picture stories, Facebook stalk you or whatever. They stalk you on social media and shit. Fake accounts is what I'm hearing. This person using fake accounts. If you're on dating sites, this person could have tried to uh, uh, approach you. This is the karmic. Tried to approach you, make fake dating sites. Try to break your heart. Try to get you to like talk to to different people. To try to keep you distracted. And then like they'll be like, yeah, let's make let's let's meet up or or, or yeah, like you're so beautiful. Like like yeah, let let's do this. And then you'd go to meet up with this person and just sit there and ne and never this person would never show up because it was it was this karmic trying to fuck with you. Damn, how you got that much time on your hands? I just heard Idle Hands. You guys remember that that movie, Idle Hands? That guy ended up having to cut off his own hands to save himself. As I say that, as I say that, two disembodied hands come out of the deck. As I say that. Yeah, oh my gosh, this person is saying all kinds of stuff. Like, this is my first, this is my love, this is my true love, this is my soulmate. I can't believe that this person would try to break us up. I just can't. But spirit keeps showing me that that <laughs> is everybody watching me? Is everybody watching? Like that spirit keeps showing me that. So this person knows. Like they're showing me that for that seven of swords. Like this person knows. They absolutely know.
They could try to do stuff to keep you distracted as well. To keep you distracted so that you're not paying attention to this to this masculine or to this person. So that you think really poorly of this person. They're like poisoning everybody. They're poisoning this person against you. They're poisoning you against this person. They're poisoning um, their friends and family. This person's friends and family against you. So they're like, even if this person ever leaves them to go be with you, all of their friends and family is going to look at you like a homewrecker. Like all their friends and family is going to look at you like a terrible person. And it's going to make it even harder for this person to go towards you. Jesus. Yeah. They're putting a lot of like misjudgments out there. I also think whoever this person is, like for a lot of you, it's a masculine, is really looking at you suddenly like they realize they misjudged you. Like something happened. Something came out. Oh, I'm hearing that Thanksgiving. Something came out. Um, that this that, that made this person realize that they were that they were doing something to unground this person to yeah they found something they found something they found some kind of spell or they found out something this person was doing to to keep them confused they either found some some kind of evidence of spell work some kind of like jar that they buried or some kind of like I'm hearing black box so it could have been in a black box something like in the back of a closet and it had like their hair like wrapped around like a doll or some shit like that or like wrapped up around some kind of root or some shit like that and they were like the fuck is this oh oh my god Ooh, that is a really dark energy around around whatever it was that they did it scared the hell out of this person whenever they found it too like like, no shit. I'm hearing animal sacrifice. Whoa, hold up. They could have found where this person was, like, sacrificing, like, chickens or animals or something, like, to keep the two of you, like, apart. <gasps> no fucking joke, you guys. Like, no fucking joke, you guys. They could have sacrificed some kind of pet, like a like a a cat or something. Oh my god. Yeah, like no joke. Like this karmic was like, I don't know what happened to our cat. Like I just opened up the door and she ran out the door. I don't know. They were like, oh my god, no. This bitch like killed their cat. Oh, I don't want to see that spirit. Please don't show me that. It's like a a black cat for some of y'all and it or for some of y'all it's like a it looks kind of like a like a minx or a lynx is that, what it, is that what you call them they're like striped and they're like gray gray striped cat and they have like a black tip on the end of their tail um either that or this can be your cat collective and they could have found something where this person like wrote some kind of spell for your your cat to die or for like something it's something dark it's something small and dark that this person found it's like a dark color or whatever it is um and they found it i don't know how they found it or if they were guided to find it i'm literally see seeing like somebody like reach up like reach up to look for something and it like fall and like a bunch of stuff falls and they're like oh fuck seriously and then like start like picking up stuff and then they just find like fucking weird ass shit like a like a box or like something they're showing me imagery from like that 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 uh, tv show you where like in the very first season spoilers okay in the very first season where um shit what's her name anyway his girlfriend um finds finds his little his like his weird his box that has like all the teeth and like random stuff in it and he's and she's like you know, like all this stuff. And it's kind of like a scene like that where this person finds something and they're like, it's like pictures of the two of them together, like wound up together and like pictures of like you collective or something like that with like the eyes like all scratched out and kill her or something like super like, cr like some like what the fuck shit or like an old diary or something they find that this person they found. It's already happened. It's already happened. Okay. So that already happened. And... This person is like, what the fuck? What the fuck? They could have burnt. Oh, 
Well, you gotta be careful doing shit like that, okay? You don't know what that sh what that shit's gonna do. Hey, stop that. This person is dark, okay? Whoever this karmic is, they're dark. And they've been doing some real <coughs> shit. Stop that, please. Don't knock that glass over. Yeah, bro. This person... Na, 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 na. Mm, 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 mm. That ain't no good. Yeah. Yeah. It <laughs> made this person, this person was like, oh, what the fuck? Made them instantly have a lot of regrets because they realized in that moment, they might not have known exactly what was going on when they found that, but they knew what they felt in the heart and they knew that shit wasn't right. Either, like I said, it was a diary, a spell work, a manifest, like a dark manifestation book or something like that, where this person literally was like writing your name over and over and over again, like in a death spell or some shit like that. And they were like, oh, that's fucked up. For some of them, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that sacrifice again, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. For some of them, they sacrificed a person either close to themselves or close to this person to pull this person back in. So somebody close to them is either sick or already died. So this is like... It's like this person was planning on leaving them or something like that. And suddenly this person's like grandma died or something like that. And they're just devastated. And this person is like, I can't leave them when this just happened to them. I can't leave them when that just happened to them. Okay. It's like this person didn't care. Whoever it was, this person didn't care. Okay. They knew they were sending all kind of dark spell work, all kind of dark duty, all kind of darkness towards you collective. And it was not, none of it was touching you. None of it was touching you. None of it was affecting you. None of, cause they were sending, you know, even if it did happen, it would be little stuff like, like a bracelet would break or like, you know, you would knock over, a glass would knock over and you'd be like, oh shit, my glass knocked over. When this person was hoping that you would like die or something like that. If if anything touched you, it would be little tiny little stuff like that. Where it would just be like a minor inconvenience. When this person was trying to like make people like turn their back on you. Or like betray you or like rob you or do like crazy shit like that. Anyway, this person found this and, it, and this it's like a realization. It's like the sudden like. What is it? Is it the the term the term in movies when people have um it's called a dolly zoom, okay? It's when this stays in focus and the camera just really quickly like zoom like in and it's like a lot of times it it it, it does that when a, a sudden realization like a character has come to a realization and they snap out of something or they're like what? And it like pulls in real close to their face like you know um, it's like this effect. But anyway. Yeah. And this person, because they're like showing me moments in movies where that happens. And so that's like, it's like this person had this like, oh my God. Like this person's crazy. Like, oh my God, they're, they're insane. Or they're, they're like, no, like. And it was like this, like something like, like broke inside this person. I don't know if it if that's like their energetic core to this person or like any kind of love or any kind of like understanding or any kind of anything they had towards this person. Whatever this was, they found out this person did. Like I said, for some of them, it wasn't this dark. For some of them, it was. For some of them, it was, it was, um, for some of them, it was that this person cheated on them, okay? For some of them, it was, I'm hearing child. For some of them, they realized that a child wasn't theirs. For some of them, they realized this karmic was doing some really fucking dark shit, okay? 
I had a reading. For some of them, they, they even got a reading. And this reader revealed the truth to them. This reader was like, I don't know who the fuck you're in a relationship with, but get the fuck away from them because they're crazy. And this person was like, oh shit. Yeah, it's like the person they thought was a blessing was a, is actually a curse. It's actually the one keeping them from their blessings. Yeah. Keeping them waiting. Keeping them constantly waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this to pan out. But it's never going to work. For some of them, they're like, what have I done? Like, what did I do? What have I done? Excuse me. Damn. For some of them, it was that moment that we talked about earlier when a friend stepped up and was like, that's not who this person is. You know, and that's when they realized how dark and manipulative this person was. They're like, you've been lying the whole time. Like, it didn't happen then, but they got or they got back into the car afterwards. And this person is like, what the fuck? Like, so you never even knew them? And they're just like, I, no, uh, would you, uh, uh, they're lying. And they're like, they weren't fucking lying. Like, you're fucking lying. Like, what the fuck? And please, y'all don't, y'all don't be scared, okay, collective, because you understand that you're, that you are protected from this person's darkness. So don't ever give into darkness. Don't ever give into the fear about this person. No, right? Let it be a testament to you that you are protected, okay? For some of them, they could have just lied. They could have just lied. They could have lied and said that a family member, their family didn't, member didn't actually die, but they lied and said that their family member died. And then them realizing, you know, they're like, my, my grandma died or something like that. And then they're out at the store or something and bring, bring, bring grandma calls. And they're like, hello? They're like, oh, hi, it's so-and-so's grandma. And they're like, from the grave? <laughs> like what this and it was orchestrated to be this way or for some reason this karmic like took this person over to their house and like thought that they thought i don't know they thought that their, their grandma or their uncle whoever it was wasn't going to make it but it was like guess what everybody grandma made it like she like we had to we had to this could possibly be her last holiday so we you know we went and got her and we flew her out and she's here now and this person's just sitting there like your grandma you said died that that grandma and they're realizing how dark and manipulative this person is that they will lie and say that people are dead when they're not when they will say when they will do things like that <laughs> And they're just like, you're fucking sick, bro. Like, you're sick. Like, how could you do that? So it's making this person, whatever it was they, they found out, okay, it's really making them look at this person in a completely different way, right? It's making them, you know, it's like a, like a domino effect. This person found out this about this person and they're like, what else have they been lying about? What else have they, have they hid from me? How many other times have they lied to me or they've misled me or they've said so-and-so said this or so-and-so did this or, you know, how many jobs did they get fired from when they just quit, you know, but I wouldn't know or how many people, you know, did they tell me? I'm hearing for some masculine, there is a, there's a karmic out there that really likes them to go fight, to go literally go get in fights with other people. So they'll tell them, oh, this guy, this guy like touched my ass as we walked by and the masculine, no questions asked, just go over and start like wailing on the guy. He did what? Who? Who said that to you? That guy did. Don't fucking lie to me, bro. Bop, bop, bop. Like nothing. Like no questions asked. And this karmic is just sitting there like, my man will fight for me. When this random had nothing to do with it, right? And this karmic is happy because it makes them in some sick, twisted way feel like mm, my man will just fight for me, like no questions asked. Or my man will just cut off their parents, no questions asked. My man will just cut off their friends, no questions asked. For me, because I'm that special, because I got him like that. Because I say, 
that and the, my and, and that man and that person will just do it and it gets them off it gets this karmic off to this person so this person sitting there thinking like for some of them there's very specifically they said that a friend of theirs a really really close friend of theirs hit on the karmic and they're thinking did that even happen i don't even think that happened like for some of them it was a close family member they're like I haven't talked to my family member in like a year or two because you said they did something inappropriate. I haven't even been going to my family events because I know that person would be there because you said it just makes me feel so uncomfortable because I know they'll be there and your family. They just don't believe me. And this person was like, I believe you, baby. I love you. I would never let somebody treat you that way. I'll cut off my family if that's the way they feel about it. And this masculine or this person is sitting there realizing like, it's a lie like it's, it's a fucking lie like so many things that you have to have told me are a fucking lie accountability now this person this this person is sitting there being like not only does this karma need to take accountability but i need to take accountability mm, spirit seven of swords in reverse i need to take accountability for all the fuck shit there ain't no more sneaking around it's right there out in the open. Everybody knows now. For some of them, they found out they were cheating on them with somebody they work with. Mm -hmm. For some of them, oh, for some of them, they said they didn't, there was times when they didn't have money and they said, I don't have any money and they did. I don't know where that money went and they did. They were using it to is, have some kind of shopping addiction or some shit like that. And it's this person is, yeah, this person's like, I've been blinded. Like I had other options. I had other choices, but I, I blinded myself to these choices, to these options, to, to what my intuition was really telling me, which I was, I can't trust this person. Because I want, you know, and I, I've left myself feeling completely defensive, to defenseless. Because I chose to keep this blindfold on about who this person really was. My friends, family members might have even told, like, bro, like, how, like, how can you? How can you turn your back on for, for that chick or for, for that dude? Or like, what? And you're like, nah, y'all just jealous. Y'all just jealous. Five stories. Y'all just jealous. I'll do whatever it takes to keep this person. I love them. I love them so deep, deeper than I've ever loved anybody else in my life. This is justice. Because all this injustice, this karmic has been doing all kind of justice in this person's life. Taking people away from them. For some, for some of them, like family members of theirs died and they never got to see them or never made up with them. You know, oh, oh, I've missed out. You know, my grandpa died last Christmas. You know, but I I didn't get to see them before they died because I refused to go around my family because you said this and this happened. That is fucked up. Yeah. This person just realized, world, like, I've been trapping myself. I've, you know, I've been keeping myself trapped here in this negative cycle over and over and over again, fighting for this person. And they don't even deserve it. Hermit. This person is like, I, I, I gotta, ooh, like, this person's like, hell no, yeah. Hell no. I, I'm telling you, whatever kind of love, whatever kind of like responsibility or anything this person felt, like it just is gone. It's gone. Yeah, exactly. Because God came in and said, not today. It's done. It's over. There's too much of this. <laughs> it's too much of this. You need to walk away and drop these burden ass relate. You need to drop this burdens because this this relationship is not meant to be. Two of cups in reverse. This relationship is not meant to be. You got all these overwhelming anxieties because you're in a place you're not supposed to be in. That's why you feel this way. It's not because other people are attacking you in your relationship and you're constantly having to fight, 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 fight. It's because you were not supposed to be in this relationship to begin with. Or you were not supposed to stay in this relationship as long as you did. Walk the fuck away already.
Exactly. This person is an empress in reverse. They do not serve you. They, they are not nurturing. They're jealous. They're promiscuous. Everything they said this other person was, they said you were collective exactly who they are, which is exactly why they said that. Now this person, six of cups, wants some kind of reunion with you. Or now this person sees the truth of the situation. Oh, they watching. Watching, finding out stuff, finding out information, finding out the truth. They're watching this person now. Oh, they could have watched this person. They could have followed them. They could have put some kind of like tracker on their car, put some kind of like uh, track my phone or something like that on this person. And like found out that they were that they were doing something they said that they wouldn't. That they either had some kind of for some for some of them it was this person had some kind of addiction with I don't know what could be substances could be uh, sleeping around with other people could be doing other things with other people. For some of these people, remember I told you that there was a person that they were like, they came on to me. It was the other way around. This karma came on to that person. It was either a family member or somebody so close that they could have called them a brother or a sister. Somebody that was really, really close to them. This karma came on to them. This person was like, what the fuck? Hell no. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm loyal. But before this person could get back to, the, to that person to tell them the truth, the karma beat them to it. And this person just blocked this person, you know, turned, uh, blocked them, cut, unfollowed them, blocked them on everything. And then no questions asked, just pick the karmic. Even over their phone, their own blood or their family member or somebody they had known even longer than the karmic because this karmic had so like had some kind of hooks, you know, some kind of spells, some kind of like, <laughs> they were like pussy ties or something like that, you know, like. You hear about people who do that, that they'll just, oh, you, 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 it must be because you're, you know, get digmatized or some shit like that. And they're just like, it's because you're jealous. It's because, you know, it's because that person is a piece of shit. That's how I feel. I, I am on your side. That person is a piece of shit. I can tell. They're talking to people. They're trying, you know, they're cheating on you with other people, but there's no evidence. But it's just like, I, I can feel that shit. They're not right for you. They're not good for you. But this person got so easily swayed. Got so easily swayed by this person and, and their, their karmic ways. This other person, this person that's a family member or a friend or something like that, they could be a king of cups energy. But there's just a lot of emotional manipulation here. Like somebody's so driven by their emotion so quickly that they that they don't even that they don't even stop to like see the logic in the situation to be like wait how'd that even happen or actually let me hear their side of the story there was no let me hear that side of the story right i mean you hear about that shit right like a friend will try to go to somebody and be like that your your partner tried to hit on me well the pain of thinking your partner tried to hit on me is way too much so that person will choose their partner over their friend or over their family member that they that they might have even known for way longer you know they could have they could choose a partner over a family member or a friend that they've known you know, they've just known that partner for a few months, but they feel like they're in love. Excuse me. But they've known that other person for years, but they will still choose the word of the partner over them. And that's what this person has done. This person has realized this person is sitting back, looking, looking at the bigger picture, looking at getting all the information, being like, oh my God. And they're just like sitting back, like thinking like, and this time, and that time, and I bet this was a lie, and I bet that was a lie, and I bet this was a lie, and like, and, cause, and because it was such a, a long-standing lie, they kept up this lie about you, Collective, for such a long time, that this person is like, like, you're fucked up in the head, like, you got some issues, like, seriously, like, oh my god, like, like, you said all this shit about this person and you don't even know them? 616 down on the clock. Like, what? Like, oh my God. Like, yeah, oh my God. You are a terrible person.
For some of y'all, this person lied about a child. Yeah. Page of, page of Swords in reverse. So this person sees. This person is watching how this person manipulate, how they move and how they manipulate people now. And things are being, you know, the energy like is being like, so it's like this person could have stayed with this person for a little bit even after they woke up because they were just like watching this person move and seeing, you know, getting the evidence for themselves. Finally getting the evidence for themselves and like not letting this person know that they saw them for who they really were, watching them move, watching them do stuff. And they're just like, bruh, like you, yes, bruh, <laughs> bruh, I cannot do this. Like you are not the person I'm supposed to be with. You are not my soulmate or you are, no, hell no. It took this person a long time, though, to wake up to who this person was because it hurt them. That's a hurtful shit to realize that you've done all kinds of shit over the years for this person. And you're just thinking, like, how many times was this, per was this person emotionally manipulating me? Okay. Yeah, King, <laughs> King of Wands. Now this person is like, yes, third party. How many per how many times did you put me in a third party? How many times were you standing in between? Were you playing the third party, standing in between me and things that would make me happy? This person is realizing this. Okay, actually, I don't even have I don't even have music playing. So yes, this person is realizing you have been a third party. For some of them, they could be realizing that they were with a third that they were with a third party. That they were with a fire sign behind somebody's back, okay? Something about red hair. This person could have red hair. Or the person they cheated on them with could have red hair. This, this King of Wands red hair is standing out to me. I don't even know if it's actually supposed to be hair or if it's just supposed to be like something like a kind of like a robe or something this person has over their head. But anyway, I'm seeing red hair. But it's just like I'm also hearing like redheaded stepchild. Like they like they made this person feel like the like the redheaded stepchild. Like they 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 might have sowed a lot of seeds of doubts in between them and their family. Like your family never really loved you. Your family was really never there for you. So if there was like any cracks or any kind of like I this person already felt very isolated because they're an emperor, right? So this person probably was an empath. This person didn't probably didn't have like the healthiest relationships with their friends or their family to begin to begin with in some situations, okay? But it's like this person came in and just like like ground in and just like made you know, like made mountains out of molehills, right? Like made like things seem even worse than they were. Like really like stroking up this person's ego. Like, yeah, yeah, fuck them, fuck them. You don't need them, you don't need them. They, they don't love you like I do, baby. Otherwise they would, you know, they would get behind you and they would stand behind you and they'd let you do whatever you wanted to do. And this person's realizing that whatever this person was, however this person was talking to them, kept them stuck kept them waiting constantly waiting or you know they just realized this person was super manipulative and kept them constantly waiting kept them constantly talking down to them about it like the things that they were saying were actually stopping them from being this king of wands stopping them from being that emperor right stopping them from collaborating stopping them holding them back from having friendships having you know yeah I'm just seeing like this person like super like isolating this person away from friends, away from family so that they had nobody to talk to. So they had nobody to bounce, you know, to say, oh, my person's doing this or that. And for somebody to go, oh, that's a little toxic or, oh, you, you, you shouldn't allow that person to do that. That's not very, that's not really right, you know. And if they did have anybody when that would happen, they made this person really like really defensive and be like, no, like defend me, defend me kind of energy yeah and it would make this person walk away from anybody whatever walk smooth clean off like bye i'm gone block them be done with them now whether or not this person did spell work to make them do that or whether or not they just convinced them to do it you know this person was very codependent on this karmic energy whoever they were mm-hmm mm-hmm constantly current stirring up lies Saying, I heard so-and-so said this about you. I heard that person said this about you or that about you. Constantly stirring up lies. Constantly stirring up turmoil. Constantly holding them back from making up with people. Or, you know, like, oh, if I was you, I'd just cut that bitch off. Sort of type energy. Like, if I was you, I'd just never talk to them again. 
And then, you know, when the fact of the matter is they're the one playing, playing the person causing all the issues to begin with. Causing all these tower moments in this person's life. Causing all this fight, this fighting and turmoil and back and forth energy. Like they're the source. That's what this person is realizing is they're the source. Causing all these tower moments, causing all this bad luck, causing all this everything in this person's life. It's them. You know, accountability. They're the ones that's allowing this person to stay close to them. They're the ones sticking up for this person, not seeing the truth, you know, but like, they're like, it's you. And it's making this person want to just like race away from this person, like immediately. Damn. Shit. Collective. That's crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you though, like I'm not trying like your decision your choices are your decisions, but you know, just my honest opinion, like I don't like somebody who can be so easily swayed like this. You know? I don't like somebody who is so I mean, this person's learning a lot of lessons. Maybe that's the lesson that they're learning is that you know, you can't be so easily swayed. You can't have, you can't be so dependent on somebody's, on somebody else's opinion or something like that, that they could sway you out of doing something in your heart, you know, is right. Or sway you into doing something in your heart, you know, is wrong, right? Occurring all this karma, incurring all this karma onto yourself from doing all this fucked up shit to people in your life without really like thinking deeper about it, allowing somebody to just stroke your ego and being so egotistical that you're just like, yeah, 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 like... It's a big lesson this person is learning. Yeah, they're healing and they're learning for sure. They are. You're a big ass lesson in this person's life. That's for sure. And so is this karmic. Like, damn. A big ass lesson about being hesitant. A big ass lesson about not following your intuition. About not doing what you know you're being guided to do. What you know. You're getting signs. You're getting symbols. You're being guided down a path. And you just, nope, nope, nope. All right, nope, I'll chase after something. You, When you're being handed your wish fulfillment, you fucking take that shit with a smile on your face and tell, oh my God, thank you. You don't allow somebody to talk you out of your blessing. Exactly, right? That knight of swords, uh, that knight of wands, because you're not knight of swords, but that knight of wands is somebody who's very gifted with how they talk, very gifted into, into the art of persuasion. Yeah, this person just like refuse. They refuse to take that mask off. And also this person was wearing a mask, you know, this karmic was wearing a big ass fast mask. And I can't say that I haven't been tricked by karmic wearing a mask. I have for damn sure. So I get it. I've also stayed loyal to a person who was being very disloyal, being very abusive to me. So I get that too. But options past life karma you're stuck in a cycle yeah this person chose again even though they had options they had other choices they had other options they stayed stuck in this in the cycle because this was the karma this was what they were supposed to deal with this lifetime this is the this their south node energy this is what they this is the lesson that they were supposed to learn in this lifetime what did i say karmic it was their lesson to put in the effort okay and let go and let spirit to learn the lesson and fucking let go this was their lesson and this they're learning it they're learning it they damn sure are you know so very soon protection rejection is divine protection this was strictly sexual for some of you you also this this person could be learning that there was something very only strictly sexual about their relationship with their karmic or what tell me more about the spirit cheating new lover this person could have thought red flags they could have thought that it was only strictly sexual was the only thing that was supposed to be happening mask marriage they have somebody else oh we somebody is married somebody is married somebody's wearing a mask and they're and they're married and they still have somebody else what's up with that soulmate 
somebody's trying to wear the mask of a soulmate, trying to stay in a marriage. That's that ghosted. Someone wasn't ready. Yeah. Somebody ghosted because they weren't ready to leave to leave a situation. They had another choice. They had another option. So they chose that other choice, other option. They could have got married to that person. They were very jealous. They could have thought you had another choice. This person did do some egotistical shit. Like, I'm not even going to play. Cheating. This person tried to might have tried to put you in a third-party situation, third-party interference, copycat. Okay, there was a copycat energy here that made that uh, was a, that played a third-party situation interference in between you and this person, and this person ghosted you. That's why they ghosted and, and walked off from you because this karmic played a third-party interference in this, or this karmic's friend. This karmic got a friend to play third-party. They need to heal. Yeah, you needed to heal. They this person needed to heal. That's why they were. That's why they fell for this karmic. This karmic shit. Um, see the bigger picture. Like this person needed to heal. Needed to step back here, right? This person wants a second chance because now they're claiming. Now they're saying, you know, I've gone through a, a transformation. This person has, and this person has. They've gone through a transformation now, right? They were showing up as the emperor now. So ego. The ego is still popping up, though. There's still something egotistical about what's happening here. It could be why this person... What? What's what's, uh, what's this? Why do I still feel reluctant about this person's spirit? Liar. Okay. Somebody's still lying about the situation. Excuse me. This person could still be married. What did I just say? Marriage. Thank you, spirit. This person is still married. If they're going to come back towards you, they're still, they have... Look. They're married. Marriage. And they have somebody else. This person is still married. That's why I was like, why do I feel this hesitation? Because this person is coming towards you and they're still married. Movement. Something is happening. Reconciliation. Union, union is coming with a soulmate. Incoming. So some kind of reconciliation with a soulmate is happening here. Incoming. Mask. Jealousy. Somebody's jealous. That's why this person, this person is coming back towards you because I really think this person this person knows that you have a soulmate energy coming towards you and this person's very jealous new lover a long somebody that you'll be in a long-term relationship with and this person's trying to come back towards you even though they're married what the fuck your friends are here to help this person might reach out to you through your friends they might try to get your friends to like get some kind of reconciliation moment to happen look at that mind game somebody's playing games Movement, long-term relationship. What the fuck? Move on. This isn't going anywhere. Yeah, I think uh, this spirit is like, yo, like this person. There's a person here that's still married. They're still learning their lessons. But I don't know, like, I don't know if this is future energy or what the hell the problem is here. Like, if you know the karmic shit, like, why are you still with them? Like, what is the issue here? Maybe this is future energy and this realization hasn't exactly happened. But no, like, I found, I heard that this has already happened so why are they staying with this person why are they staying with this person spirit second chance transformation oh this karmic could be saying give me a second chance they might have decided to give this karmic a second chance this karmic is saying that they're transformed lust do your research um this person wants you man they want to be you separation this person this karmic is doing some kind of research here they have this like this uh this wants or it could be this person this per tell me more about this spirit before i speak on it thank you they're building themselves okay marriage codependent break free this person is still codependent this person is still codependent on this karmic in some kind of way. They still haven't broke free of all their codependence of this person, even though they're waking up and they see who this person is. Movement. There is movement happening here, but this person is still playing mind games. Either this karmic or this person, probably both. Still playing mind games because of past life trauma here or past life, you know, past life karma. This person is still stuck in a cycle. They're still learning their lesson. Clearly, if they want to come towards you and they're still married, I, I just saw the cheating card. What card is this? Liar. Hello, mind games. Okay, marriage. Hello, marriage. This person is still married. They're coming towards you, but they're still married. But you want to try to say that you woke up to how terrible this karmic is? Movement, karmic. Red flags. Uh, 
I'll be careful because this person, this person could have could have turned into a karmic for you, collective. Okay, this person could have refused their refused their karmic lesson so much that they turned into a karmic that they that they turned into a karmic lesson for you. Um, you could have this person could have always been a karmic lesson for you. This person could have always been a lesson for you. Okay, mind games. This person is playing a lot of mind games, but this person is dealing with a lot of shit in their own life. There, this person, this this person's karmic is like getting is like really doing some fucked up shit to them. But this person is also playing some kind of mind games with you. Why is this person playing mind games with my collective? Protection, rejection is divine protection. Why is this person playing mind games with my collective? Cheating. Why is this person playing mind games? See the bigger picture, karmic. This, like I said, see the bigger picture. This person's a karmic. Oops. Yeah. So if you thought this person was supposed to be somebody that you were supposed to be with, this person was a karmic. This person was a lesson. You were a karmic lesson to this person. This person was a karmic lesson to you, period. Lessons. That's who this person is, is, is a karmic lesson, period. Okay? And this person that they're with, even though this person is their karmic, okay, they are still a karmic lesson for them. They are still this third-party interference. They are here teaching this person about third-party interference, okay? For sure. Yeah. They're teaching this person how to move on from this third party interference shit here. I don't think, I don't know if the two of you were ever actually supposed to be together or if you were just supposed to be each other's karmic lesson. Cheating, mask. Childish, focus on family, focus on career. Hmm. Spirit is saying this person is still being childish. This person is still in the process of learning their lessons. They are learning lessons, but they're still childish. They're trying to come towards you when they're still married or when they're still they're still in a relationship. They're they're jealous. They don't want to let you go. They're trying to come towards you and try to say, you know, oh, you were so right about the karmic, but they're still with this person. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Okay. Show the world the real you. They're very attracted to you and your energy. Expect a powerful change. Yeah. This person doesn't want to give up the karma, but they also don't want to give you up either. You are good enough. Yeah. This person, at some point, this person didn't see you as good enough for them, and now this person sees you as too good for them. What do you need to release this person? Period. What do you need to release? Yeah. This person is realizing this, but I think they're moving a little too slow on you, for you. Luck is on your side. Uh, I really feel like this person is moving a little too slow for you and, and to keep up with your journey, to keep up with what you're doing. A time for healing. Yes, yeah, is saying that heal. Heal in this moment. Heal from this lessons, from the heartbreak that this person taught you. Okay? Right? This wounded warrior. Learn from your lesson. Okay? Uh, learn from these lessons for sure. This person probably inspired a lot of uh, for you to like look at yourself and really start healing a lot of your, a lot of your issues, a lot of your chest issues, a lot of your problems and shit like that. Okay, and so it's just like yo, like I don't have time for somebody who wants to stay with somebody they know is doing them dirty or they know exactly what do I need to release this person? Period. Like I keep saying, right? Like <sighs> some kind of expectation, some kind of traditional mindset that you had about how what this journey was supposed to be. Okay. It's about refining yourself, rediscovering yourself in this process, okay? It's also about understanding that this person has still got some karmic lessons to learn with their karma. They still got a bunch of karma, karma shit dealing with them. And like I said, they, they incurred a lot of karma fucking with this karmic for as long as they did, even though they knew that they were supposed to let, to, to let go. So they woke up a long time ago, but they stayed with the karmic, okay? They stayed with the karmic. I don't know if it was out of pettiness, if it was just out of curiosity, if it was just out of, you know, like I said, they stayed with the karmic, they woke up and then they stayed watching the karmic, doing this move, doing that, doing this. They still went along with it, right? And spirit was like, no, you were supposed to leave. As soon as you woke up, you were supposed to be like, oh no, fuck this, I'm gone. But this person didn't right? This person didn't. They stayed, they stayed on the fuck shit or they stayed moving. They stayed, they, even though they were awake, they stayed moving the same way they did when they were asleep. And so God was just like, what are you doing here? You're playing games. Exactly. Adjustments are required here. Like adjustments are required here on this, on this person, you know, but they didn't, right? Exactly. 
North Node in reverse. They refuse to step out of their comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. They refuse to do that. They refuse to step into their destiny. They refuse to do what they know. They know they were with this person for a while. They've been woke for a while. So don't let them. Don't let them come towards you and be like, I just woke up. I had no idea. What no, they have been known for a while. Very close to achieving your goals. They see you. They see you moving on. They see you being very close to achieving your goals. And here they come on some karmic shit themselves. Like, because there's still karmic issues and karmic lessons they have not learned. They refuse. What did I just say? Don't let your past hold you about South Node. Your South Node is about, like, your karma. Like I said, they're they refusing their North Node and they're staying stuck in their South Node, right? They're staying stuck in, like, your South Node is the karma that you have left over from your past life. They st they're staying stuck in this. Some parts of them, some parts of them, they're like half, half, half awake, not like half awake, half asleep. It's like worse because they're all the way awake, but they're choosing to stay. Could be fear. Okay. For you, spirit is telling you to work through your fears of leaving this person behind or walking away. It's not feeling like this is going to be the only person or that you're like losing, missing something out. Like divine is telling you like surrender to the divine. They've been told you to walk away from this person that you know that prosperity lies ahead. Okay. To let go of your fears of the past. Right. And to move on to prosperity lying ahead. And you know that. And this person knows this too for you. This person knows they can feel it energetically that you're moving away, that you're leaving them behind, that you're like, okay, you still got some lessons to learn. I'm moving on. So now this person wants to come back. And like, I'm feeling like it's very like controlling energy. Like this person is very much so trying to pull you in into their heart space. Like they, they don't want to let go of you. They want to cling on to you because they're like, it's not fair. It's not fair. No, what's not fair is that you're not doing the fucking work, but you still want to cling on to somebody who's moving on. Let go, let go right let go you have been like this person's been supposed to let go of you and your energy and they won't they won't let go because they're not they're refusing to learn their lessons north node in reverse they're refusing to step into their actual path and what they're supposed to be doing and they're just clinging on to you because they're co-fucking dependent okay now they're codependent you know they're just trading one codependency for another they were codependent on the karmic. Now they're now they want to try to be codependent on you. They're just trading one for the other. It's not any better. They're not healing. There's a lot about this person that they're refusing to heal. They're refusing to like admit about themselves. Yeah, and now they're mad. And now they're fucking mad because you're stepping into healing. It's a time for healing, and a new romantic cycle is beginning for you, right? You're waking up to something new. Like you're manifesting new things, new opportunities, new people who are ready to let go and move on, who aren't who aren't going to stick around with a karmic even after they've woke up and know that a karmic is doing them dirty. Like, why are you still staying? Like, what about what about what about you is unable to move away, to walk away, to let go of this? Like, what are you doing? They're refusing to grow up. They're refusing, they refuse. They they just keep playing games. Like. It's like they think that you're going to come back and rescue them. It's like because they know you, they know that you know that they're in trouble. So they feel like it's your responsibility to come back and save them or some shit like that. Like, no, it's not. It's your responsibility to save your damn self. And this person sees you, feels you energetically walking away from them. And that's why. That's why they're going to try to come back to you. But the thing about it is that they're still engaged with the karmic. Or they're still like, right? They're still with this karmic. They're still married to this karmic. Or they're still fucking with this karmic. They're still having sex with this karmic. Or there's still some tie that they have. But they, what they want to do is they don't want to let go of the karmic until they know they have you secured. So they don't want to. So they'll come towards you and try to see if they can secure you. And then they'll let go of the karmic. And God is telling them like, no, that's not how you can handle this you have to let go you have to take this leap of faith you have to risk you have to take a risk you can't hold on to both and then stay you know because them still being tied to the karmic is going to bring karma from the karmic that they're still attached to to you that's going to be the karma of them still attached right this person hasn't let go this person hasn't moved on this person hasn't healed right you have probably let go and you're healing and you're doing all of this and then they want to come super unhealed like it's your responsibility to heal them no it's not the fuck? This person literally ducked their energy. It's like, help me, help me. Like, oh. Like, they're trying to really appeal appeal to you. Like, they're trying to, like, to really hold you back. To keep you stuck. You know, to make you feel sorry for them. Like, I just need you. Like, oh, this is so sad. Like, right? Like, all this stuff that they said. And it does suck, right? They're just like, this is so bad. And this is so dark. And this karmic is so evil. And all this other stuff. But, like, you're staying stuck with them. But yet you're still laying down with them. 
But but yet you haven't left them. You haven't left them and like go get your own apartment and go get your own shit and get your life together before you come towards me. What the fuck do you mean? Nothing's gonna come of the situation. Like the fuck? Hell no. <laughs> Go for it. Hell to the fuck. I don't understand what this person is doing. Like, I don't know what the fuck you think this is. Like, huh? The energy is gaining momentum. They feel your energy gaining momentum. Your dreams need a practical plan. They feel you trying to move on. Yeah, spirit is telling you. Spirit is telling you. Keep your hold your vision. Hold your vision and move on. Like put, you know, you you have dreams. You have things that you want to accomplish. You know, start making a goal list and start setting them and start making practical steps to meeting that goal. And like, don't worry about this person. You know, and don't let them come towards you with this sad sob story because like your life hasn't been your life hasn't been great either, right? I'm hearing like spirit is also saying you don't even know what this person was doing. Don't hate this person with this bring love to the situation. Don't hate this person. Don't have any hate towards them. And like don't have any ill will towards them. The answers you need are coming, but you're gonna find out. There's some shit you're gonna find out about this person, okay? If you stay separated away from this person, you're going to find out about this shit. Or if you get back with this person, you're going to find out the shit after you've already got back with them. And it's just going to hurt you twice as bad because you're already going to accept them back into your life. And then you're going to find out the fuck shit they was doing. Oh, my God. Confidence is key to your success. Expect powerful change. Stay confident. Stay lovely. Stay bright. Stay beautiful. Stay, you know, this person's really going to try to get your emotions. Try to work you up with that. Your emotions are running high. This person's going to really, really, really try to tap into your emotions and really, really, really... Yeah, spirit saying look at the bigger picture. I understand who this person was and what the purpose of them being in their life was, okay? Any kind of final advice for my collective before I go? 644 down on the clock. Balancing out. Your spirit guys are there. Balancing out. They're there. How do I almost said balancing out again. Like it's a lot of balancing energy here. You and your loved ones are safe. Exactly. Spirit saying we're here. We're protecting you. We're guiding you. Understand. Focus on you, focus on your career, focus on your family, focus on, yeah, on your shit. Because your commitment is being tested. Your commitment in your past is being tested by this person coming back towards you. What you really need. But you, this person and their energy is holding you back because you're very close to achieving your goals. For a lot of you, you're manifesting somebody new into your life that's on that grown on that grown woman, on grown man shit. Like, for real. Somebody that really intimidates this person. That's why they're, they could be appearing in your dreams or coming to you trying to get you to, like stay attached to them or some shit like that yeah and spirit saying there's adjustments that are required here in this situation this person got a lot of change and a lot of growing up to do conclusions over them reach that's why this person's trying to come to you energetically trying to block you trying to block other people from coming into you yeah they learned that from the karma didn't they they learned all kind of shit like they picked up all kind of real karma shit they understand prosperity lies ahead they understand that good things are coming to pass for you and for and a part of them is like and a part of them is just like, man, like, damn. Like, why didn't I stay with that person? Because my they're so unhappy with their karma now. They're like, damn, why didn't I stay with that person? Like, shit, like, why? Like, fuck. Bring love to the situation. Yeah, now they want to bring love to the situation. Now they, you know, like I said very early on in the reading, at some point they thought you weren't good enough for them. They thought they were too good for you or they thought some shit like that. But now they, but now they see that the situation is something different. <laughs> a new start is coming. They know, they know that a new start is coming for you. A new romantic cycle begins. What did I say? They know, they know a win-win outcome is forecast. They know, like I said, did I not say all this balance and shit? All right, I just said balance, balance, balance. Look at this, both the Libras and the Libra scale came out. They balance. You're balanced. You're moving up in the world. It's time to take action. They know that you're looking at the bigger picture, right? You're making practical plan, like making plans and putting them into action, focusing on yourself, improving yourself, improving your life, glowing up. And this person is still in karmic energy and they're just like, man, fuck that. They took a lot of karmic energy from this karmic, from their karmic. And they've taken on a lot of their energy. A lot of their tactics, a lot of the ways they act, a lot of their personalities. Oh, golly.
I'm hearing what sounds like water running. Like what? That's, uh, be careful. Some of you guys could have like a pipe that's like leaking in your house or some shit like that. Somebody's trying to catch you when you're defenseless. They're trying to catch you when your guard is down. Okay. They're third party interference here. Okay. Yeah, they're this devil energy. They're trying to catch you, like, slipping or some shit like that. They're trying to bring in something to you. Trying to show up, like, right in the nick of time or some kind of shit. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm exactly that thing you've been waiting for, you've been looking for. Use your discernment. Yeah, because whatever it is, a hell no. Hell no. It is not equally yoked. It is not a union brought in. Yeah, no. God is trying to tell you to end whatever this situation is for damn sure, okay? Because it's a it's a karmic cycle trying to come back to you. Walk away from that shit. No old friends. That's what I, no old friend. No old shit. Like, whatever it is, spirit is telling you to put an end to that shit. Let that shit go. Yeah. It is not somebody that you're supposed to be in a relationship with. That's for damn sure. You know. You know. King of Swords, it could be an air sign person or it could just be somebody that you already separated. It could be an ex, okay, energy. Somebody that somebody that wants to try to come back on new energy now. New energy. Oh, I'm being honest now. I'm on the honest shit now. Nah. They got a they got an in-person reverse standing behind them. That's why they run and they run into you because the shit wherever they went was not the grass was not greener on the other side. That's why they run into you. They run into you like save me, save me. No. Save go save yourself. A personal issue with she's resolution. Yeah, they think that you're going to be the solution to their issues, to their problems. Exactly. They're codependent on you. This is the same shit. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're codependent on you. That's their issue. Okay. That's what I have for you guys. Oh, that's what I'm saying. This person was a fat ass lesson for you. Okay. This person was a fat ass lesson. 100%. Okay. See, that's why I make my reading so long, you guys, because I'm just like, there's so much energy that comes out and there's like, and this and this and this. And you're just like, wow, that's so crazy. And then. At the end of the reading, it was like, but this person full of shit. But this person is still, this person, no, right? The, the, like, that's that they're going to give you this whole big ass long sob story. And I'm not saying that it's not true that a bunch of fucked up shit did not, that, you know, that it did happen. A bunch of fucked up shit did happen to them. But they want to try to tell a story in a way where they don't have any blame in it, right? They want to try to try to be like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe this person lied to me. But like I said in the very beginning, but where was your antennas? Where was your mind at when this person was poisoning you against me? What was your intuition telling you? Well, my intuition was telling me that they was lying. Okay. Just point but people. Stop. Stop right there. I really feel like you're just going to be just like, I don't fuck with this weak ass energy and you're still got that weak ass energy vibe and I don't fuck with it anymore. Like, I honestly think that's how you're going to be. You're going to be very queen of swords on this person. You're going to be like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But sometimes, you know, sometimes, sometimes part of it, taking accountability for our actions is that we fuck up things. Right? We're supposed to have opportunities with people. I've had to say that before. I've had to say that I fucked up things, that my own that my own toxicity or my own shit fucked me out of situations or relationships or opportunities that I should have had. And it's not like, oh, I'm healed now, so I deserve that opportunity. I'm still in no. Sometimes, you know, you fuck yourself out of the opportunity and I had to take responsibility for that. And I had to be like, well, damn, my fucked up or my procrastination or my shit fucked that up for myself. Damn. Oh, well, I got to take accountability for that shit and not let it happen again. Like, and sometimes that's, that's what you got to learn. You got to understand that, that forgiveness does not mean that, you know, just because you woke up and you realized what was happening now and all the fuck shit you was participating in now and you're learning your lessons. That's great. That does not mean that other people are entitled to let you back in their life. And that it goes for if you're the person realizing, right? Nobody's entitled, you know, to give you forgiveness to let you come back into their life when you was on fuck shit. Like nobody, you know? And that goes for either way. Just because you realize that, you know, like I said, you come to the realization of some truths and you realize what was actually happening. Take accountability and what you did and deal with your shit. But like I said, for a lot of you, this person is coming towards you with one hand still behind their back and that one hand behind their back is still attached to the karmic because they don't want to let go of the karmic. They don't want to move out. They don't want to be on their own. They don't want to stand on their own two feet. They don't want to do that shit. And for a lot of them, they're going to lie and tell you that they are, but they are still attached to that person in some kind of way or another. 
whether or not it's energetically or what. This person's got some nasty, heavy ass energy. I'm gonna be honest with you. They got they got some real heavy ass energy that I'm just like, bruh, I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do a little energy clearing for you guys. I know this inner this reading has already been pretty long, but if you're already here, you're already here. So you know what it is. It is what it is. Like I'm gonna do a little energy clearing for you guys because y'all deserve that. I deserve that too, but I want to do a little bit for y'all so that y'all can find a little peace, love, and clarity in this situation, okay? And like I said, you are a grown-up. You are allowed to make all your own decisions. If you want to go back to this person, that is completely on you. That is your path. That is your decision. I'm not saying that it's a bad decision. I'm just saying I'm just here presenting the fact, you know, presenting, presenting the facts of the situation, but you are completely able to walk your own path and make your complete own decisions. I wish you luck either way, whatever your decision is. Okay. Woo. Wait, y'all y'all hear that? My neck popping and shit. This person just ooh, gave me the ooh. Give me the, the heavy tension. It feels heavy. Like literally heavy, like physically heavy, like draining and heavy. That's what this person's energy is on some shit. And no, <laughs> no, we're not accepting that kind of energy around this bitch because we are glowing up way too much to be held back on some on some person that still wants to be stuck to a karmic they know it's toxic like what sense does that make it doesn't make any sense to stay stuck to somebody you know is doing you dirtier you know is causing you ill will or you know has ill will towards you or you know fucked up something why would you hold on to that because you fucking codependent and this person has not healed their codependency issues because if they come towards you i'm just telling you they come to theirs they're not healed the codependency issues. now they're just codependent on you instead of on the karmic For some of y'all, they just switching back and forth. For some of y'all, they was on you, then they dropped you, went to the karmic, then the karmic was not, it, the grass was not greener on the other side. Now they want to drop the karmic and come back towards you. Stay where the fuck you went. Stay over there and stay where the fuck you went. Like, nope. Okay, you guys, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for hanging out, okay? Hanging around. Hope this brought some love, light, and clarity to your situation, okay? Um, Drop... Uh, drop something in the comments that drop a comment in the section below to let me know if it resonated sorry about that um golly this is like really putting on a lot of smoke right now for y'all like y'all need some serious cleansing y'all need some cleansing cleanse your cleanse yourself of this person's energy do some journaling do some all kind of stuff do some walking around outside i don't know <laughs> Why did the spirit show me that? Spirit showed me literally somebody standing around outside and they're just like, huh, 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 like, huh, 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 like, I, right. you know, you want to do your karate outside, you know, and like get it out. Like maybe some of you need to go to the gym and just like, you know, like let go of some of your mad, like mad and like aggression or anger towards this person and just kind of let that out in a productive manner. Like do what you got to do. Take some kickboxing classes or some shit like that. Go outside and just like punch the air or something. I don't. Hi-ya! hi <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Like, in the best possible way, though. I love that shit. That's so fucking funny. Thank y'all for that laugh. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I love y'all so very, very, very much. If this resonated with you, okay, think about subscribing if you're not subscribed to the channel, okay? If you are subscribed, thank you, lovely. Thank you for being here again. I thank your guys and my guys for bringing forward this clarity. I hope, I hope it gave you what you were looking for. If not, I'm so sorry. Check out some of my other readings, or maybe I'm not the reader for you. That's cool, too. I hope that you find the peace, love, and clarity that you're looking for out there. All right, lovelies, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yes.